The COVID experience ignited a movement within mainstream medicine among doctors who say their institutions or the government barred them from helping their patients. Hundreds of like-minded medical professionals recently gathered in Phoenix, Arizona for a third annual conference where they aren't just tackling COVID and vaccine injuries, they're aiming to take the lead on many of America's unaddressed health emergencies. Dr. Paul Merrick was a professor of medicine and chair of pulmonary and critical care medicine at Eastern Virginia Medical School and a doctor at Centara Norfolk General Hospital, world-renowned as one of the most published critical care physicians. But when COVID hit, it changed the course of his career. If we had adopted, as a number of countries have done, early, widespread, early treatment, we could have controlled and ended this pandemic in the middle of 2020. For the first time, Dr. Merrick says, he wasn't allowed to treat his patients as he saw fit. The short version is that we developed a, or I developed a protocol for the treatment of the hospitalized patients with COVID. It went against the narrative of the National Institute of Health and whatever. And so my results were at least twice as good as everyone else's result, but I was, I was using off-label drugs and I wasn't following the narrative. So um, they stopped me, they actually stopped me, prohibited me treating my patients the way I wanted to treat my patients. Who's they? They was uh, the healthcare system, which was Centaura Healthcare System in, uh, in Norfolk, Virginia. And so it put me in a difficult position, what, you know, what was I to do? So. My lawyer said, well, just go to work and just document what happened. So the following week I went to work. I had seven COVID patients in the ICU and seven patients died because I wasn't allowed to treat them the way I wanted to treat them, which is, which is my right as a treating physician. Dr. Merrick sued his employer, Centara Healthcare. but ended up quitting his job and dropping the lawsuit in early 2022. What was the easy version, the main difference between what they wanted you to do and what you wanted to do? Yeah, so they basically outlawed all the drugs that I was using. I was, uh, you know, I was using corticosteroids, vitamin C, um, a whole bunch of other drugs. Um, the ivermectin, they wouldn't allow me from the beginning. And basically I was forced to use remdesivir which we know is a toxic drug, and so I refused. So basically, I couldn't treat my patients. Dr. Merrick turned his full attention to a group he helped launch, Frontline COVID-19 Critical Care Alliance, or FLCCC. So this organization today, its purpose is what? We developed protocols for the early treatment of COVID. So that was our initial focus, but you know, COVID shone a, light, a very bright light on the corruption of the system, uh, how the system is controlled by Big Pharma. So I then developed a protocol for the treatment of diabetes. Um, partly was self-motivated because I was a type 2 diabetic. And so the traditional narrative is that diabetes is a progressive disease, it's treated with medication, you're going to get complications, you're going to lose your legs, etc, etc. And that, that's a false narrative. And so diabetes is a treatable disease with lifestyle changes as well as other interventions. So that's what I did and I know I'm no longer a type 2 diabetic. And so that's really what we're now focusing on. Well, you know, we still, COVID is still a big problem and the vaccine injured is a very big problem. But, you know, our focus now is on patient empowerment in, you know, empowering patients to take charge of their own health. FLCCC conferences have attracted larger crowds each year. February's meeting in Phoenix was the third. I think it's the number one crisis we're facing in America right now because of what this spike protein and vaccine injuries can cause. It leads to so many other diseases and illnesses. I think it's the number one th thing we're facing in America right now. I was in a um, physician-owned practice and they wouldn't let me treat COVID. So the short version is I quit. I started my own direct primary care practice. So um, now I can dispense ivermectin. I treat long COVID, I treat vaccine injuries, uh, and I can take care of my patients. There will be more 
viruses and diseases and outbreaks. What do you see happening in the near future? I think th there's no question of doubt that the current health care system has failed. And so we need an alternative. And so, you know, we one of many organizations that I think can provide a, a solution, uh, an answer to this ongoing failure of the health care system. Dr. Merrick and his group have come under brutal attacks from some pharmaceutical allies. Recently, Dr. Allison Neitzel of the group Misinformation Kills issued a lengthy apology for her own misinformation about Dr. Merrick and FLCCC. She noted flaws in her criticisms about, about their studies and says she regrets using words like fraudulent and grift.